Pretty big trade over here, second and third for Artem Zub and a third. But if you watch my other episodes, you know that I can only use my first and second round picks. So I'm gonna say no because my second round pick is actually very valuable to me. Stop it. Get some help. Another big trade offer here. Shane Goss is spared a third for Gibbons, Niemela, and a second. But I'm going to say no because Goss is is getting up there in age and he's signed long term. I do not know what is wrong with this team, but we are atrocious. Six wins, 13 losses, and three overtime losses. So that's six wins and 16 losses. I'm not even sure if I want to change the lines at this point to try and get better. We might be tanking for the first overall pick this year. I don't know. So McKinnon's been doing his job, 22 points in 22 games. Sider's doing his job as well, 16 points, 22 games. He's a plus two. Soderblom, second and points. Besser and Larkin. The top line's been solid, but look at Raymond minus nine, Zadina minus 11, Casper minus 10. So the second line has been terrible. And Igor Shesterkin has been unbelievably bad. 896 save percentage. Kosa is going to be the starter for the next bit, and we're going to see how that goes. So here's what the Lions are looking like on forward now. Larkin, McKinnon, Besser are going to stay together. But we've got Soderblom, Fabry, Raymond on line two. Zadina, Kasper, Haltunen on line three. I'm kind of scared about that line. But then Perron, McLeod, Kaloran line four. Capitals want to give us Nick Jensen back, but I do not want him. Massive, massive trade offer here. Alex Petrangelo and David Krejci for Santiago Vallet and Justice Anunin. Krejci's potential is now top nine instead of top six. He was great for us last year, but potential going down is a huge red flag. And Petrangelo is only top four potential. Therefore, that contract's going to be terrible very soon, so I'm going to say no. Another big trade offer here, Claude Giroux and Brandon Montour for Lebedev and Anunin, but our record isn't good, so I'm not giving away any prospects. Here we are entering the trade deadline. We are sellers this year, unfortunately. We, have we only have 25 wins. It's been a rough season. We're selling off everyone on an expiring deal, that is for sure. Kyle Connor available, crazy high value. Jack Eichel is about to be a UFA. Ehlers is available, Hampus Lindholm, Josh Morrissey, Patrick Kane's value finally going way down and his overall way down. Petrangelo there at 86. Deneau still a good player but about to drop off a cliff. Jake Ottinger available, that's kind of surprising. Finished growing at an 86. Claude Giroux of course there as well. The game understands Zach Bogosian's greatness. <laughs> He's a 77 overall, AHL top 2D potential. But look at his trade value, better than Alex Tuck. That's as it should be. Zach Bogosian is one of the best players in NHL history, easily first ballot Hall of Famer. I'm trying to trade Simone Edmondson. I've given him plenty of opportunities for success. Potential dropped. I think he's stuck at an 83. Still his value still might grow because he's young, but I think his time in Detroit has to come to an end. So I'm once again trying to get Aaron Kivihario from the Ducks, just like last season. A couple low top nine guys, just as value. For Kalorn, who they want. Perron, they wanted a second ago, but now apparently don't. And Edvinson plus a third. Let's see what they say. Rejected. Chicago's offering me a first round pick for Zach Whitecloud, but I can't do it simply because of Whitecloud's contract. That's why he's even worth the first anyways. And it's kind of painful to say no to this, but no deal. Instead of getting Kibihario, I'm offering this trade to Columbus, trying to get their first round pick. They're a bubble playoff team, so let's see. They're gonna say yes. Big deal, sucks to make, but we're getting another first round pick. So we'll have three first round picks at this upcoming draft. And I'm gonna be exiting the trade deadline because Perron and Kalorn were the only two pending UFAs, and then Edmondson was the only guy I wanted to get rid of. I didn't really want to get rid of him, but I feel like I had to get rid of him. So hopefully that first round pick turns into a stud. I'm actually going to claim Sam Carrick off of waivers just to put on the fourth line for the rest of the year. So Athanasiu and Ronta are acquired by Nashville from Pittsburgh. First round pick goes to Philly for Morgan Frost. That's a pretty big one. Yuko Pekka Lukin into the Rangers for Barclay Goudreau in a second. Jake Ottinger to Colorado. I got to look at Colorado's roster because they might be a very scary team now. San Jose gets a first round pick for Jason Dickinson. Are you kidding me? That is absolutely ridiculous. Nathan Gauthier to Colorado. Josh Manson back as a duck now. There's our trade right there. 
Huge trade here. Ehlers to the Anaheim Ducks for two firsts and a prospect. And Anaheim also got Ryan O'Reilly, so they're stacking up for a playoff run. Jonathan LeCare and Mackey. His value must not have been very good because Seattle got him for not too much. Asplund for Mario Ferraro. Goss is spared to Edmonton for a first. So I hope you enjoyed watching this one in the next episode. I'll sim the rest of the season, see what happens, and then we're going to go from there. So please like and subscribe, and thanks again for watching.